Hi, my name is Casey from MSPD Africa with a quick guide on force time charge and battery reserve capacity or minimum state of charge on grid. These settings can be changed using the Fox Cloud or the Fox ESS version 1 or 2 app. If using the Fox Cloud, once your site is loaded, you will need to be on the Inverter Details tab and next to Battery Status, click on the four red dots. This will load a battery settings menu where we can see we have four options to change from. Under SOC setting, the minimum SOC or minimum state of charge is always to remain at 10% as this is the battery's cutoff limit. The min SOC on grid, the minimum state of charge while grid is present can be changed by you or your client to whatever percentage you feel the house demands. Once you have made your changes, select Save. We will see success. In the event of a power outage, or if your client would like to charge their batteries higher than their current percentage, you can enable a force time charge from the grid. To do this, under Time Period 1, you will enable Charge from Grid, and select the time period you would like the batteries to charge. If you would like to have a second time period under time period two, enable charge from grid. Your beginning time of time period two has to be later than the ending time of time period one. Once you have made your changes, select save. Once saved, we will see success, and we have successfully written these settings to the inverter and batteries. To disable this function, we can log back in, disable enable charge from grid, and reset our time period to 0000. If you do not reset your time period, the inverter and batteries will presume you are in a force PV charge state. What this means is that it will use all available PV power to charge your batteries and not feed the loads in the home until the batteries are at 100%. The batteries will also not discharge during that time period if there is no PV present. We hope you find this guide helpful and if you need any further information, please take a look at our technical support portal.